Hello YouTube. In the previous video we have started with animations. So we have animated two shapes that is circle and rectangle. We made it we made it to move both horizontal both in the horizontal direction as well as in the vertical direction. So what is in the case of text? So uh, we have already learned how to display a text text to the graphics window using the out text and the out text xy function. So can we animate text in the same way as we animated those shapes? So in this video, we shall be going to figure it out. So now the question arises, can we animate the text as the same way that we animated those circles, rectangles, etc. And the answer is absolutely yes. yes. We can either increase the X coordinate or increase the Y coordinate to make it possible and we and thereby we can uh, make it to move either in the horizontal direction or the vertical direction. So I shall I shall also be showing showing you an awesome trick by making it so appealing to others how to make those text appear color colorful using the set color function. Uh, that is I'll show you and that makes more sense. So first of all let's uh, display a plain text to the graphics window at the point uh, let's say almost uh, 300 for the X and uh, uh, 300 for the Y too. So let's display plain text and uh, let's run it how it looks like. So this is how it looks like a very small text at the point 300 to the X to, uh, to the uh, right and 300 from the top as well. So we need to make this text to move from move move uh, just as we move those shapes. So how can we achieve this? Just as in the case of those shapes, we need a for loop to iterate. So in case you're you're worried or about what is this iteration? Iteration just means repetition. Just with the for loop, we are achieving those re re repetition until the condition is being satisfied. So iteration just means repetition. So mm, now we need a root control variable as usual just declare i and uh, we can make the uh, point just as almost zero since we need to make it uh, first of all we, we need to make the text move from the leftmost corner to the rightmost corner and the y may be almost uh, 100 okay that's it okay now we need to make this text move from zero to get max x and as usual, the value of i will be 0 this time up to get max x, then i plus plus. Now instead of adding uh, i, I to 0, we, shall, we can simply mention i there. Since i, I plus 0 is just i, i, i isn't it so? So we can simply mention i there and the text will be moving from the up, uh, left corner to the right corner. But uh, the same thing happens here too. The text just goes beyond the uh, beyond our what to say our we, we can't see that when the whole loop aboots the, te the text will be in on the uh, on the uh, on the next part of the uh, what to say it goes beyond get max x so we can uh, reduce a bit by 100 so I think that's it now let's run and see how the text moves oh again we forgot to implement those clear device and delay, and delay functions so all this always happens so clear device to clear the screen on each iteration and the delay function as well by 20 20 milliseconds okay now everything will be all right okay as you can see we animated a piece of text okay it's mo it's moving from the leftmost corner to the rightmost corner even though we, re we reduced the get max x by ma by a factor of hundred then too it is sticking to those uh, it go, it's going beyond uh, the get max x the maximum x coordinate by a little bit so we need to figure it out we can reduce it by almost 150 okay now this uh, the, the text that we have uh, made to the graphics graphics screen uh, graphics window is just a tiny piece of text so we can customize it a li little bit we can change the set text style I hope that you remember this function this function takes three parameters, the text style, uh, the direction of the text and the font size. 
So for this case, let's give the style is seven. Seven is and uh, seven is one of my favorite styles, along with ten and nine. Mm, now for the uh, next parameter is the direction. It may be horizontal or vertical. Now let it let it be horizontal in this case, since the vertex is moving in the horizontal horizontal direction. Now for the font size, it may be it will be no sorry uh, it can be six. Okay. Now it will be a little bit attractive. Now for the color, we can set it to almost ma magenta. Okay. The magenta color looks almost similar to the pink color, I think. So, okay, as you can see, so we have not figured out the get max that up to where which portion the text goes. It it uh it goes out of its code go. It surely will go beyond the x coordinate since the we have we have increased the font size. So we need to figure it out too. By 350, we can reduce the factor by 350, and the starting point. Uh, Okay, we can start at, at the, the negative axis by almost 200. So the first of all, the text may or may not be visible as per the length of the text, and it goes and it comes from the neg negative axis of the uh, neg negative x axis. That that means from the uh, beyond the left corner, and it comes comes to our vision after some time. Okay, I hope that you understood. You'll be able to understand it this if you are perfect with those coordinate geometry. So that's it. Let's try it again and check the difference. So the text, um, so some part of the text is just beyond the left left corner, and it comes there. And you can increase the value of the negative x axis by a little bit. So the complete text starts from. Uh, complete text is uh, first of all it's not visible and then it comes to the screen gradually so that is kind of an effect isn't it so we can again increase the value to almost 300 okay 300 and we can increase this value too since some part of the text is going beyond x coordinate 400 okay I think so now it will be almost right all right run it again Okay, now it's almost okay. Okay, -ish, okay. Okay, we have figured that out. Now let's move this text from the vertical vertical direction. Now uh, X and. Uh, Now let's give the value of i to the y coordinate, and for the x we'll have almost uh, what to say 100. Okay. Now, if it is starting from the top, we shall give the value as zero, and the ending value as get max y. Okay. I hope that you will be able to understand what I'm doing, since that is this is a very basic mathematics, the very basic coordinate geometry, just uh, just adjusting those coordinates to make it appear from top to bottom. So let's run it and look. There'll be a difference that now the text is yes, as you can see that as you can see the text is falling from the top. They animated the text in both the ways just as we did in the did in the case of the of the of that shapes. We'll also require to reduce the value from the get max y as well to make the text uh, just make make sure that the text stops just at the bottom corner at, at the bottom exactly so the for loop has not ended yet since we increase the font size and that is the reason that the text just falls down and goes beyond our vision so let's decrease it by almost 200 and uh, now for fun for the sake of fun let's change the d direction to 1 so the text will appear uh, in the vertical direction and that will always uh, be maybe a pain since the whole loop never ends and so we can give uh, the value mm, ampersand the ampersand operator keyboard hit function I have already made a tutorial on this function as well in the in this in the video where we learned about the put pixel function 
so the I, I hope that you are already familiar with the logical operators the logical and make sure that the uh, the loop runs only if both the conditions are true so what the KB hit function does is that it is make sure that the user um, presses any key on the keyboard just like the get ch function but we have we have also mentioned the not symbol here the not symbol the not symbol just means the opposite so the f uh, for in this case the for loop will run uh, run only if the value of i reaches to get max y as well as the user just doesn't press any key on the keyboard so meanwhile if we uh, press any key on the keyboard the loop just aborts and just comes back so that's why i have implemented this function there and now let's run it the starting point will be you can give a negative y axis too since the text is a long piece of text maybe 3 or oh no 250 text goes up to um, no way should not reduce it get max y and it increase it by almost 100 okay now now the direction of the text will be changed okay as you can see the direction of text has been changed and it comes from the negative y axis and goes to the um, and goes beyond our vision since we have incremented okay. if you press any key on the keyboard as soon as we press any key on the keyboard it returns back to the source code and that's why we, we used the kv hit function here now i will try an interesting trick here instead of the set color function we can set an awesome we can show an awesome trick that will be appealing to the audience so they can make the text to animate along the horizontal direction let's make it 200 negative 200 and the uh, case of the y-axis it will be uh, 200 and the x-axis will be incremented by i get max x mm, subtracted by 200 you can also use the mkp hit function here since we don't know when the for loop ends so now instead of the set color function instead of just one color for the text we can uh, simultaneously uh, iterate with various colors and make it visually appealing to the audience so what I am going to do is I am going to uh, set the value of a uh, set the parameter of the set color function to be a variable now color is an integer variable okay now the for loop allows us to have as many initializations as as required so the for initial we can initial initialize the color to zero and the color mm, okay the color just increments its value and as you remember the we have a uh, certain ranges of colors in the available in the C graphics library ranging from the value 0 to 15 so there are uh, colors from 0 to 15 so we can uh, we can have a maximum value of 15 for the colors so we can we, we have specified the color as 0 to 5, so 0 but we haven't specified an ending value isn't it so in order to achieve that we can place an if condition here that is if color reaches to 50 then set the color to 0 and that's it so we have just used, used an if, if construct there and that ensures that the when the color reaches 15 it again get, goes back to the 0 so let's run it and see the magic as you can see we got, we got a nice what to say I have no words to express this is just a uh, colorful test text out there going towards the horizontal horizontal direction and this is the power of, power of the C graphics animation we can just make any, anything out of our imagination and as you may have noticed the final color of color was something bluish uh, light bluish or something uh, pattern of blue since when the loop uh, loop was aborted the final final value of the color was uh, was passed to the set color function and that is why the final color was something blue okay mm, and that's it uh, so we have learned ma many things here we have learned to animate the text just as we animated those shapes so we learned how to animate the text as well as shapes we can uh, just by implementing those x coordinates and y coordinates we can animate it either the horizontal direction or the vertical direction I also learn how to set various colors at, uh, using those, those four loops and make it visually appealing to others. And that's it for this video also. Make sure you practice this. Uh, you, you can impose your uh, various creativity. And that's it for this video and thank you.